Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty Ball Lenore across all my social media platforms. If you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Of course, get a conversation started with me in the comment section below and share it amongst your family and friends. Of course, you clicked on this video because you wanted to see how the Siesta contacts will look on dark eyes. So you guys already saw me post on my Instagram and I did tell you guys that I had a video coming and in this video I'm going to do a split eye thing for you. So this way you guys can see what my normal eye color is and what it normally would look like. For me obviously I was born that way. It's my normal eye color. And then you'll also see how the contact changes or modifies dark brown eyes and what it looks like up against my skin tone. So if you were thinking about getting the contacts or if you're around my skin complexion, a little lighter, a little darker, you'll be able to have a bounce board because on the website they give a little bit of information. They have a little examples. Not really boo. But this way you'll have a bounce board to really kind of see, hmm, I want to try that or maybe I need a color that's a little darker or a little lighter. You'll have a few options in this video and hopefully you like the options that I'm presenting for you guys. If you want to see more videos like this, of course, just let me know. But if you're ready, enough talking. Let's see these contacts. So if you're ready, let's go. You're my bitter one taking me home. Okay guys, so the first review we're going to do for contact lenses is going to be coming in from the Crystal Edition Siesta Concept and this is from www.colorco.com. Of course, I'm going to have the information on the screen for you and I'm also going to have the contact lens information in the description box below. But typically when you guys see me, this is what you're going to see. Like, uh, I live in my glasses for the most part because I do have all of my contacts for the most part in corrective vision. I am a negative 1.75. So typically, um, no makeup, freshly moisturized glasses, and that's it. I'm out the door. But I wanted to go ahead and do a review of this one since we are coming up on holiday for a lot of you guys, vacation for a lot of you guys, graduation for a lot of you guys, you know, a whole lot of traveling about to happen, you know, May, June, July, and August, family reunions, different things like that. And you know, sometimes you just want to change up your look. And especially with makeup, there are certain times where different eye colors pop with different styles of makeup or different hairstyles or different, you know, hair colors. So I wanted to go ahead and go over a few options with you guys. Typically, for the most part, when you guys see me wear my contacts, I always wear my Fresh Look uh, Aesthetics. This is the Air Optic Colors. And I always wear the shade gray. And as you can see, it's negative 1.75. So this is the one that I always typically wear. So they come in a six pack and they typically look a lot like this. Just a little gray contact. So that's typically what I will wear and have, especially, you know, when I go to my vision doctor um, at Target, Walmart, just wherever. For the most part, I like going to Target and or Walmart because if I'm traveling and something happens, then I'm not having to call back to a doctor here in Atlanta to call out a prescription, send it to a pharmacy so I can go pick it up or send it to like a local Target or Walmart to pick it up. It's just so much easier if you're already in the Target system and you're traveling here stateside, of course. Or if you're already in the Walmart system, you can go into any location countrywide within the United States, of course, and pick up that prescription. They're just gonna call into your original uh, vision doctor that you went to, and they can go ahead and send the prescription over to them. So if you're traveling and you rip a contact, or if you know a contact comes out or you accidentally, as <laughs> you're watching your face, you wash one of them down the drain, it happens you're able to go ahead and have your prescription refilled no matter where you are. And rule of thumb, when I'm traveling, I always take two pair of contacts with me. I don't travel with my actual glasses. I'll always take two pair of contacts so just in case something happens or if something goes wrong, I'll always have a backup. But that's one thing for you guys. And I also have a crap ton of contact lens cases, but <laughs> that's enough for that one so you guys will know exactly where I'm coming from with that. 
And as far as my contact lens solution that I love, I love the Bosch Alarm BioTrue. It's like tears for your eyes, plus it's also antibacterial for your contact lens when you're doing your solution. And I'll actually use this to rinse my eyes if they're feeling kind of crazy after I actually wash my face prior to putting on my contact. But with putting on your contacts, you always want to start with freshly washed hands gonna be ashy in the video <laughs> nothing else is ashy but my hands are probably gonna be ashy just because you start with freshly washed hands and then from there you actually go ahead and go into the contacts but when you order contacts from colorcl.com it's gonna come in a box like this and it is international shipping um, they ship pretty fast I ordered it in about hmm, three and a half weeks later I got my contacts uh, I like the fact that when you get your package, it's going to come like this. I like the fact that they did go ahead and give me a free face mask. And this is just a crystal moisturizing effect for brightening and anti-wrinkles. So that was pretty cool that they gave us a free face mask. And also, they went ahead and gave us the Largo PC Hyaluronate enhanced wetting and lubrication. So these are just re-wetting drops. And this is something free that they did throw into the actual box. And of course, you know, they'll give you like little contact lenses and things for you guys to be able to use. And these are so cute. These are little teddy bears and these are little ducks. So they're really, really cute. So you guys do get that. Um, the amount that you guys get is going to depend on how many, you know, contacts you actually ordered. I ordered one, two, three, five. I ordered eight pair of contacts here in the actual box. Um, Alexis is the young lady that I follow and following her is how I knew about this brand of contacts from Siesta. This is their weekly edition and these are hydrogel contact lenses. They're slightly thick. I can't sleep in these because because they're so thick in the morning when I wake up my eyes will be swollen and it'll be like a whole bunch of just crap. You know what I'm saying? And from time to time if I sleep in them I'll wake up the next morning and my eye will hurt and it'll be red. So do not sleep in these. These I literally put in once a month and I'll leave them in for 30 days. I don't take them out or anything like that unless you know I've been outside and the dust, wind, pollen, anything like that but these don't irritate my eyes they don't bother me if I fall asleep in these so I really love these these I cannot sleep in don't sleep in these guys but they come with five pair of contacts in here they come with the apple green color a sugar brown color which is the reason why I purchased the actual contacts and they come with the cinnamon color a cream color and a sky color so here are the colors you guys get and of course my prescription is a negative 1.75 and here is the front of the box for you guys. And the contacts come out in strips like this. So here are the contacts. I'm gonna bring you in just a little bit closer guys and we're gonna go ahead and start trying on the contacts. Now, one of the pair of contacts I already had and opened, the uh, sugar brown ones are the ones I wore while I was in Miami. So I have all of my contacts down here that I've already previously worn. So they are here, so I'll be able to go over that with you guys. Hold on just a second. These are the ones that I wore in my Keisha Kaor haul, where my eyes were like a bright blue. And the one, the video that I just posted, you know, when I was sick, you know how to do makeup when you're sick, that bright blue eye color. These are these, but these are from a different contact lens company that eh, I wasn't all too happy nor thrilled with their actual contacts because since I have really dark brown eyes, sometimes it's hard for contact lenses to actually change or enhance my eye color. I figure if I'm going to wear contacts, I'm going to completely change my actual eye color. Uh, so let's go ahead and try on the first ones. And these are the sugar brown. So let's go ahead and take the glasses off. And I do have some water right here. So this way I can make sure I'm cleaning my uh, hands and stuff in between and of course the rag to make sure I get everything done. So you don't want to cross contaminate or anything like that. They do come with the little contact lens applicator. I can't use that. That <sighs> I'm a little too stupid for that. I cannot use that. But if you guys have a problem with actually touching something to your eyeball, it does come with the contact lens applicator. Let me show you. The contact lens case when you open it, and this is great for travel. It'll come with your actual eye um, contact lens case. And it also comes with this little thing right here that you guys can use if you have a problem touching your eye. You can go ahead and use this 
to actually go in and touch the actual eye and put the actual contact in. I can't, I'm, you know, I, I, I can't, you know, I stay in my lane. I know what I can and can't do. And this is just one of those things I know I can't do. Plus, if you're, uh, you can use the tips here since they're rubberized to pick it up out of the solution. I just dip in with my actual finger. So that is something you guys can do. And of course, it is a handy dandy, handy dandy travel case. So that's really great that you guys are traveling and different things like that. Keep your contacts separated and you can also store your contacts in here. If you're storing your contacts, make sure you change your solution out every 30 days when you're storing them. But let's go ahead and get into the brown sugar here. Here are my eyes, natural eye color with no additional anything. So this is what my normal eye color looks like. So when I wear glasses, this is pretty much what it's gonna look like. I like my eyes to be greeny gray or a greeny blue. I like green undertones grounded with just a little bit of brown. I can't do brown contacts. They look weird on me. They look like obvious contacts. And I don't like the obvious contact look. I like the look that when you're looking at somebody, you go, hmm, are, there those, are those your eyes? I like those type of contacts. So I really love these. Let's go ahead and try these on first. And all I do is just simply pick it up out of the actual container and I put it on my hand. And I just go in and I pull the bottom lid down and pull the top lid up. And I go into it. Now, as your eye starts to water, all you have to do is just go in and do this. And of course, it'll appear red at first, just simply because, you know, you just put something in your eye, so your eye automatically is gonna react as an irritant. But it won't. That's the normal natural eye color, and that is the sugar brown. And I know sometimes people do it with a full face of makeup on. I can't understand how they do it with a full face of makeup because every time I put my contact lens in, my eyes water and everything, and typically after I put my contact lens in, I'll go ahead and take some micellar water and just wipe down the eye area. But that is sugar brown. The next one we're going to do is going to be green apple. So I'm going to go ahead and try on the green apple for you guys. You can already see how green it is. And here is green apple. So here is my normal dark brown eye color, and here is the green apple. And as you guys could tell, it really completely changed the eye color. And I really like this one. I definitely, definitely really like this one. It's showing up a little bit brighter on camera, but I really, really like this one. Because as you're looking at it, it's almost like it's pretty it's stunning i actually like this one too um i thought sugar brown was going to be my favorite color and so far sugar brown still is my favorite color but i also like green apple too so this is green apple the next color we're going to do is going to be cinnamon so when you're breaking them off you just snap them like that so cinnamon is up next so let's go ahead and do cinnamon now this is cinnamon Cinnamon is right here. My natural brown eye color is right here. And as you can tell with cinnamon, cinnamon pretty much just, let's see. Cinnamon pretty much just enhances my natural brown eye color. So you can definitely tell, it just looks like you have prettier brown eyes. So with makeup, with a very stunning makeup that really enhances brown eyes, like when you're doing green and blue and white in a waterline, this is going to really make that makeup on your eye really pop. That make, the eye makeup really pop. So again, this is cinnamon. And I'm not too upset with cinnamon. And this is the most comfortable contact from this actual collection. From the weekly, correction, uh, weekly collection, this is the most comfortable one I've put in so far. So I really like the way this one feels inside the eye. And I like the fact that it kind of makes your eyes on my brown eyes. Let's see. Cinnamon kind of gives off this gray look. Let's see and get you guys. See how it kind of gives off that depth of gray with a little bit of green? 
So this is one of the most natural looking where it looks like my actual eye color. So I really, I really do like this one. That one I really do like. <laughs> so that is cinnamon, love cinnamon. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so the next color we're gonna do is cream. And I'm very interested to actually see cream because cream looks white. So I'm interested to see the color that cream gives off on my natural brown. I have dark brown eyes. Um, depending on how the sunlight hit my eyes, sometimes you can really see the brownness in them and sometimes, you know, they look black. <laughs> so cream is super duper light. So we're going to go in here and take a look at cream and see if this one is about to be super scary or if it may be one that we actually like. So this is cream. Obviously cream is right here. My natural brown eye is right here. So let's go ahead and do the look. And cream, cream is a really, um, Cream is a really sky blue. Um, it can be like a natural eye color, like if you had that Michael Ely eye color. You know, a lot of people of color do have this natural eye color, especially, um, where is it in, in Africa? Where they are naturally born with like blondish type hair and blue eyes and stuff. So this is a really pretty eye color. It's just you have to be careful how you actually pull this off. And of course it does go a lot into my actual skin tone and how my skin tone reflects that actual color. So for this type of contact, I would definitely do like a more natural look with some um, not super dramatic lashes, but not natural lashes either. This type of eye color on me supports a pretty nice lash, but it can't be a natural lash and it can't be a dramatic, just a normal um, demi lash would be perfect with this with some just normal natural type makeup. And it would just really pop. Like, you know how when you look at, especially like Michael Ely, you know how when you look at him and it just looks like when his eyes just look directly at you, it's like, he, are you looking into my soul? <laughs> these are the type of contacts. So I definitely like these. They're super, super bright. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next one, guys. Okay, so we're down to the last color. The last color we're gonna do is going to be Sky. So Sky is a blue with gray specks around the iris. So it's supposed to make it look just a little bit more natural. But we're going to see because Sky is coming across blue, blue, like super blue, blue. What you see me dipping into is the bowl of water on the side and making sure my hands are clean in between each application. So let's go ahead and put on Sky. And this five pack, if I didn't tell you, of course I'm leaving information on the screen, but this five pack is only $20 in your Apple's actual prescription. And you can't buy them individually. So if it's a color or colors you like in it, you just have to buy the whole thing. But let's go ahead and try this one. Now, Sky is pretty too. Like, all of these are stunningly pretty. Like, I <laughs> like all of them. So, I'm trying to figure out, like, uh, I, I, I like all of them. I like all of them. Uh, Sky is definitely one that, because it's so blue, but the gray around the iris um, actually allows it to blend in more natural. So, if you saw this color, Especially, you know, with minimal makeup, you know, with an actual look, a complete look, you know what I'm saying? You would kind of wonder, again, it puts you in the same mind frame as the whole Michael Ely thing. The, um, <laughs> excuse me, the sugar brown actually mimics Rihanna's eye color a little bit. Uh, the apple green, I don't, I don't know anyone coming to the dome with apple green eyes who is a person of color, I'm pretty sure. It's a ton and I remember after the video. But um, the cinnamon, the cinnamon is just stunningly beautiful. It's uh, more or less um, people of color who have dark brown eyes, but it flashes that hazel fire. It's really pretty. And cream, cream surprised me the most. Cream is stunningly beautiful. But this is the sky color. And all I did was just go in order, trying them on the colors from, you know, apple green, sugar brown, cinnamon, cream, 
and sky. So I went ahead and just went in the same colors as trying them on. Okay, so we're gonna go into the next pair in the box. Um, I really love Elizabeth Taylor's. I really love her violet purple eyes. So I did get some contacts to kind of see which ones would actually kind of come close to her eye color. Don't don't ask no questions, guys. Just just know that's what I actually liked. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one first. This one is more of a gray blue a gray blue green type color and this is uh Harry's Blossom um Harry's Harry's Blossom soda and it is in negative 1.75 and of course the regular base the BC is 8.60 millimeters and the diameter is 14.50 millimeters and it expires to 2022 but here is the second one And this is what the front of the box looks like. And these are silicone color lenses. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this package open. Be careful when you're opening these boxes that you guys don't hurt yourselves. But this one comes with a pair of contacts and a pair of contacts and a contact lens case. So I like the fact that they do that for you guys. So the only thing you guys actually have to go out and buy is your actual contact lens solution. And this one doesn't irritate my eyes, doesn't bother my eyes. This is one that I've loved and I've been using this for about six years now. So this one is not the bottle, but the brand. I've been using the brand for six years now. But this is one that I really love. And this is what they look like when they actually come out of the package. Got the little cherry blossoms on the actual package. And of course, here's the back. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get this open. It's just a little, when it's flat like that, all you do is just lift the corner. And as you open it, I mean, some of you guys may not have never worn contacts before, maybe looking into switching from your glasses to contacts, or if you don't have any type of prescription issues, you can just get zero. Zero is no prescription and you can just change out your color whenever you get ready to. But all you do is just take it and just peel it back. And your contact is down there in the solution and I just take my finger and dip it and pull it out. Uh, you can use one of those utensils that it came with. <laughs> not utensils, one of those tools that came with to do it. Again, if you're one of those people who have a problem actually touching your eyes and doing things like that, then the tools will really work for you. Me, I've been wearing contacts for about 20 years now, so I'm used to it. So let's see what does Harry's Blossom Soda look like. This is a super thin contact lens. You see how easy I popped that one in? But let's go ahead and give you a straight on look. Regular brown color. And that's what this color changed my eye to. And as you can see, um, this is one with the uh, optical ring that goes around the lens. Other ones didn't have optical rings. So it just was the straight color blending into your right, the white of your eyes. This one has the optical ring around it where it kind of gets a little dark, but it kind of blends into my natural eye color. So for this one, it looks, this one looks pretty normal and natural as well. It's not anything that's stark to where you'd be like, that's definitely not her eye color. Like really depending on, you know, how my hairstyle is and how my makeup is, you would kind of be like, is that her eye color? You have beautiful. Most of the times when I wear contacts, Walmart, Target, <laughs> shopping, Sephora, Ulta, just wherever, people will say, you have beautiful eyes. And I'd be like, okay. Like, I didn't get over the point of being like, hey, they're contacts. Unless they ask me, are those contacts? I'm like, yeah, they're contacts. And then I'll proceed to tell them exactly where I got the contacts from. I'm one of those people I overshare. But looking at this actual color, I like it. 
I like it. And this is pretty comfortable. It's not a thick contact. It actually feels like my fresh look contacts. I would almost say this is a contact I could actually sleep in. I knew that the Sierra collection, the, the Siesta collection, I know I can't sleep in these. Um, I don't know if it's because these are hydrogel and they're a little bit thicker. But since this is a silicone contact, it's super thin. But I will tell you guys, <sighs> Whether it's a thicker contact or a thinner contact, still be very careful when you're actually cleaning and manipulating your contacts. I'll take some solution on both of my fingers and I'll just do this on both sides to remove the protein buildup that can collect on your actual contacts. Of course, they also have a contact cleaning, cleaning kit at Walmart where you just drop a pill in and just drop your contacts in and leave it overnight and that'll help remove the protein buildup as well. But just for daily or weekly cleaning, just take a little bit of the solution and flatten the contact between your fingers and just rub like this. But be gentle so that way you don't rip or tear your contacts because it doesn't matter where you get it from. Contacts aren't cheap, period. But they can be very affordable. So, this one. I like this one. And lucky for me, it's playing really well with my tan. So, I really like this one. Now, come winter time. When my skin color lightens back up and gets back to the normal color it normally is, uh, we'll have to see. But for right now, with my tan complexion, it's really playing well with my tan. So let's go on to the next one. Okay, so next on my list is same thing, guys. This one is going to be a 8.60 millimeter BC, and the diameter is 14.50 millimeter. Same expiration, two of two two of 2022 spear as far as my prescription is still going to be negative 1.75 and this is in siesta violet so this is what the box actually looks like siesta violet and this is their eye styling by color cal color cl and this is the siesta contact and this again is the silicone silicone color lenses so i would assume this one's going to be pretty comfortable as well so opening up the package again you get your contact lenses right here and the case right here so that's pretty great and these come the exact same way and let's go ahead and do the siesta violet They are like a pinky purple a little bit. And I I absolutely love this one. It's coming up a little bit more purple on screen, guys. Okay, I had to <laughs> get that out the way. But here we go. Siesta Violet. So you see with my natural eye color, what Siesta Violet changed my eye color to. And I love this one. On my skin complexion and my skin tone, you know, overlook the gray hair, guys. Overlook that. <laughs> but on um, my complexion with my skin tone, I love, I absolutely love these. These are stunningly beautiful. And they are pretty close to Elizabeth Taylor's eye color. I didn't want the brightness of Elizabeth Taylor eye color. I wanted the violetness of hers. And the mixing of the pink with the purple on top of my dark brown eyes brings me pretty close to that. So this one is by far my favorite. This is my number one color. I absolutely love this one. This one is stunning. Let's take a look at the next one. Okay, so this is the last one. And this one is 8.60 millimeters um, BC. The diameter is 14.50 millimeters. My prescription is negative 1.75. And this is Lucid Dream. And with Lucid Dream, I got the color for the silicone contact lenses in pink. So here we go right here. And this is what they look like. So let's go ahead and open it up. Same thing. Again, I really do like Color CL, you know, their presentation of their packages, the extra stuff they give. Because sometimes, sometimes contact lenses will send you just your contacts, and that's it, boo. Uh, they didn't send me no lenses or nothing like this with Fresh Look. Fresh Look didn't send anything but just this. So, yeah, whatever. But they made sure that for each pair of contact lenses you ordered that you had a case. So this way, it was a more complete transaction for me. So let's go ahead and take these out. 
And of course, same thing. And I know a lot of times, you know, people would be like, pink contacts, purple contacts, you know, they were like, okay, that's, that's a little bit extreme. But you know, contacts are just like makeup, just like wigs, just like weave, just like braids, you know, whatever it may be. It's just a way for you to express yourself. You know, you want to change up your look from day to day. You know, you throw on a different wig, a different weave, a different color, get your hair braided, get whatever, flat iron, get whatever, get it cut, get it color, get it style. It's just your personal way of expressing yourself. The way you choose to do your makeup, playing with colors, playing with textures, with glitters and different things like that, it's just you expressing yourself. And as far as the context, but you'll take it to the next level with the whole expressing yourself. So let's go ahead and take at Lucid Dream Pink. I really am happy that while I was shopping on their website, you know, I was able to really see what the contact lenses look like across, you know, eye colors. You know, her eye color was nowhere near close to mine. But I had a chance to kind of see how it changes her eye color to match the contact lens. I wanted to do this one so this way you guys out there with dark brown eyes, whether you're a person of color or, you know, of the lighter, fair complexion, dark brown eyes run in every ethnic group. So this way you have a chance to see how it will translate on your eye color. You also have to pay attention to your actual... Um, skin tone not only your actual skin tone but you also still want to pay attention to the undertones in your skin because sometimes you and I can have the same skin tone but our undertones can be a little bit different and it may look a little different on you versus me vice versa so just keep that in mind guys but enough talking let's go ahead and get this last one in and let's look at it this is the first time I've ordered from one of these contact lens companies and I didn't immediately throw away half of my order after I received it. Because you know, when you're ordering contact lenses online, it's really kind of hit or miss. It's not like you're walking into your doctor's office or Target or Walmart or you know, wherever you actually go to get your eyes checked for your vision and different things. And you're able to try on the different contact lenses when they sit you down in front of an actual mirror and tell you to just go ahead and try it on and see what you look like see if you like it if that's what you want before you place your order so that's the scary thing about ordering online that's the reason why i wanted to make sure i did this type of video for you guys so you would have at least a base point of reference of course the young lady on the website she is caucasian so you'll be able to have a base point of reference if you're closer to her skin complexion or if you're around my skin complexion you can really kind of see the difference in how our skin tones and undertones pull with the same contacts. But this one, honey, I like this one. I like this one because it's such a muted, it's such a muted purple and it has a bigger uh, diameter right here in the middle for your uh, the iris of your eye. So it looks a little bit more natural. So I really pull off this type of color, so I really like this one. But of course, the, the violet ones prior to this, those are my favorites. Those, those, the, the ones in CS the Violet, these, these are my favorites. But I like all of them. I'm going to wear all of them. So here are the actual eyes, and I love them. I freaking love them. Can you guys see how my natural eye color still kind of shines through the actual contact? And because it doesn't have that orbital ring going around the actual outside of the eye, that allows for it to blend in a little bit better with my eye. And that is what makes this look more natural. The water diameter in the middle for the iris and then the non-orbital ring going around the outside. So definitely like this one. Definitely like this one. So that's the eyes, guys. Okay guys, so you had a chance to see the different color contacts on my eyes. Let me know what you think. Which ones were your favorite? Which ones were you more apt to want to go ahead and buy? And of course, any and all discount codes that I can find for the actual company and the brand, I will leave in the description box below. But as always, I want to thank you so much for spending your time with me. I don't care if it's the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night, you know, looking at contacts, whatever it is you're doing. 
I'm just happy that you chose to come spend your time with me. And as always, YouTube, thank you so much and you have a beautiful day.